If you want to make enchanted jewelry in old school RuneScape, there's a huge process. Someone has to cut the uncut gems. After that, someone has to put the cut gems with metal bars to make the jewelry, and then someone has to enchant the jewelry. It's a long process involving a lot of people. But what if it didn't have to involve a lot of people? I play RuneScape on 10 accounts. So what's stopping me from being every person in this process? Absolutely nothing. I get so many comments on all of my videos of people asking me what my intro songs are. Guys, jump in my Discord, link in the description. All of the music that I use in my videos is in there. Right, I have an idea, guys. And when I say I have an idea, what I mean is someone sent me an idea. When I play RuneScape on my 10 accounts and I do these videos, I normally have them all doing the same activity for 10 hours. So we can figure out how much money you can make from 100 hours of doing said activity. And I wanna try out an activity. Today, that activity is enchanting dodgy necklaces from opal necklaces. Right now, there's a 700 GP discrepancy between dodgy necklaces and opal necklaces. You make 700 GP per enchant if you enchant opal necklaces. Just in case anyone's unaware, if you're completely AFK and just auto casting, you can do 800 enchants per hour. That is almost 700k profit. And I could do that on 10 accounts, make 7 mil an hour, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, Dick's your cousin. But the problem is the daily volume for opal necklaces is so low. I just can't get my hands on enough of them to make this worthwhile. So the idea today is a production line. I'm gonna have my main account EVscape with 99 crafting, so it can't fail, cutting opals. Rake Upton over here with 93 crafting is gonna be cutting opals as well because that can't fail. Cake Upton, Break Upton, Bake Upton, Shake Upton, Wake Upton, and Drake Upton all have 62 crafting from the Barrow's Gloves grind. I wanna get crafting up on them for some future videos. So they're gonna be in charge of putting the cut opals with silver bars and turning them into necklaces. And then after they're turned into necklaces, we have Snake Upton and Jake Upton to do the enchanting. I spent 839,000 GP on uncut opals. I spent 107 GP on silver bars and I spent 114 GP on cosmic runes. That comes out to 1,060 GP in costs. And right now I can sell a dodgy necklace for 1,972 GP, 912 GP profit per necklace if I make them from start to finish myself. So what the damn hell am I waiting for? We're gonna start out with one hour of cutting the gems on EVscape and Rake Upton. And then after the hour, I'm gonna trade over the gems from this account to the other accounts to make the necklaces. And then in the third hour, I'm gonna be enchanting the necklaces. Let's see how much money we can make. All right, 10 hours on the clock, starting out with just the two accounts and upgrading afterwards. Let's get this party started. I'm pretty sure it's at like level 90-ish that you stop failing cutting opals. So uh, we shouldn't... Huh? What level is it that you, fa you stop failing cutting opals? You never stop failing? At 93, there's a 95% chance that I won't... Oh my God. So one in 20 is just gonna bust. Uh, well, I guess that's just something we're gonna have to get used to. And then at 99, one in, one in 50 is gonna bust. So, I mean, look, they're gonna bust. It is what it is. There's nothing you can do about it, but we should be making money here. Okay, that is one hour done of gem cutting on the two accounts. I got 2,500 opals on EVscape and I got, I mean, I guess 2,500 on... Yeah, there it is, 2,500 on Rake Upton as well. Quite a few more crushed gems. Holy shit, that's a lot, of, lot more. That's 70 more. That's kind of insane. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take these out and then start trading them over to uh, the other accounts that are going to be making them. How many do we have in total? 5,000, there's six accounts. Quickly run the numbers. 5110 divided by six. 851 opals for each account. Let's go ahead and get trading. 581. How have I so badly fucked the numbers up here? Oh, it's 851, not five. <laughs> it's 
<laughs> I've been trading 581. Bro, my brain is actually mush. All right, need another 270 for each account. God damn it. I've wasted so much time here. All right, that is all of the Opals traded over. Let's go ahead and set these accounts up now. Uh, we need to make all of the withdrawal options correct. We're going to do withdraw 13 for all of them. I'm going to have to go ahead and uh, make a new tab in here. X is 13 and 13. Perfect. All right, that's all the accounts set up. And now we should just be able to click Opal Necklace on all of these. Bob's your uncle. We're making some Opal Necklaces. And at the same time, still cutting Opals on the other two accounts. And then in 55 minutes time, we're going to start enchanting on the other account. Bob's your uncle. Now, based on the amount of opals that I cut in that hour, uh, by the end of it, I'm going to need some more, but we'll see if that uh, translates to the actual necklace making as well. Because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a thousand necklaces an hour on all these accounts, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay. End of the second hour here. And naturally, of course, um, we did a little less cutting this hour, 600 less gems. Uh, and 700 less gems on this account. Uh, but we did manage to get 767 dodgy necklaces on pretty much every account. Maybe one less inventory on... Yeah, one less inventory on the rest of the accounts. I don't know how this account got an extra inventory in, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, but now we have a whole bunch of dodgy necklaces that we can trade over to the enchanting accounts. And those accounts can start enchanting the necklaces. And they can supposedly do 800 an hour each, which if I'm looking at this means we have way too many necklaces to enchant for the amount of accounts we have to enchant them. So I think that means by the end of it, um, once I finish cutting all of the gems, I'll make the other accounts that are cutting the gems start enchanting them as well. And then that should be able to catch up for the... Because it'll take me five more hours, I think, to cut the rest of the gems. And if I spend the last five hours on the magic accounts enchanting them, we should... That should line up. That should line up perfectly. 2,270-ish right, each on both of the enchanting accounts. And we'll go ahead and make a... We'll go ahead and make a tab for each of those. And one over here as well. All right. That is all 10 accounts now set up. Uh, I won't lie, it is a bit overwhelming trying to do this on 10 accounts at the same time. Um, there's a lot going on and I had to take a lot of time out. I'll be honest with you, there was a lot of AFK time on a bunch of the accounts, but it's okay. It, we're not under any like pressure here to get a, a certain amount per hour, you know? We're here to just see how much we can get done. All right, we got 11 minutes left on this hour and all of the accounts that are actually making the necklaces, I've run out of uh, cut opals on them, so... Uh, it seems as though six accounts is a little too many uh, to keep up with the amount that I'm cutting. It was the perfect amount if I didn't have anything else going on, but obviously uh, playing on the extra accounts, I'm cutting less gems per hour, which really cuts into the amount that I can trade over. And therefore, uh, I'm going to have less gems in the bank to make the actual necklaces with. So I'm just going to go AFK on... Uh, these six accounts for now. And then next hour, I think I'll just turn one of them into uh, in an enchanting account rather than a uh, necklace making account because we are most certainly, based on how many is in the bank for here, gonna have way too many necklaces to enchant on just the, uh, just the two accounts. All right, coming to the end of the third hour. We are finished with the enchanting. We managed to get 619 of the uh, dodgy necklaces done, which means 1,238, which means we made 1.2 mil. 1.2 mil in profit this hour from enchanting the dodgy necklaces across the 10 accounts, which is 120K GP per hour per account from the... Wait a fucking minute. <laughs> wait, 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 okay. This might not be very good. This sounded really good on paper, but I'm starting to think maybe it isn't. But wait, no, we still got this many left. So we were able to produce 2,200, 4,000. So that's like five mil, almost 500K an hour per account. Okay, so it, it is not bad by the time we've finished enchanting them all, I think. I think there's only one way to find out, I guess. We've just got to keep pushing. 
I'm going to turn one more account into an enchanting account and we'll go from there. All right. 5,000 cosmic runes on another account and I need some water runes. Need to go get myself a water stick. Brilliant. All right, six hours are remaining and I've cut another 2,000 gems on EVscape and Rake Upton. I have enchanted approximately 650 on the enchanting accounts and I have made God knows how many. Another like 700-ish each on the uh the accounts that i'm making necklaces so if i continue at this rate i'm gonna cut these gems in the next three hours that'll give me three hours left uh that means i'll finish these in the next four hours and then i'll have two hours left that i can enchant the necklaces on all of the accounts which should be enough to get all of them done i fucking love having you guys come past and like seeing what i'm doing in game and just automatically assuming i'm making a 10 hour video which like for the most part is generally true if you catch me in game with all of my accounts i'm probably doing a loot from video or a mega scale that's pretty much the only two things i do now but this guy got it wrong this guy got it wrong i'm not doing cut 10 hours of cutting gems all right i got a full-on production line brother all right that's gonna bring us to about halfway through let's have a look how many necklaces we've got about 2k on the accounts that have been enchanting the whole time and 1.4 on the one that just started a little late so looking pretty good for five hours in so far about 5 million gp profit so 5.5 not no not the greatest 100 g 100k gp per hour per account so far actually genuinely not looking good brad but i got 3.8k uncuts left to go so in about two hours these accounts are going to be done cutting and i can get them enchanting instead yo what what the fuck? Why is C Engineer here? <laughs> He's right, man. Why am I letting myself get distracted? I'm losing money here. <laughs> Yo, shout out Tom, bro. I love that kid. I love that kid. Okay, we are coming up to about three hours and I have officially finished cutting gems on all of the accounts, the two accounts that were cutting gems. We crushed 700 gems on Rake Upton and then over on EVscape, we crushed 282 gems. So quite a big difference, but around a thousand gems crushed overall. But now that they're done with the cutting, I can trade them over some necklaces and they can start enchanting. We've now got five Five accounts that are going to be enchanting the necklaces and we have five accounts that are finishing up making them there's only a couple of hundred left on the accounts that are making them will be done in less than an hour and then we can get all 10 enchanting and there we go we are now done creating all of the necklaces on all of the accounts what i'm going to do now is just trade over all of the uncharged necklaces to one account figure out how many we have and then just trade them over uh, an even amount to each account and get charging. So it's going to be 1,561 for each account. We've got 15,610 necklaces left. And according to the wiki, I can do 800 an hour if I'm AFKing it, if I'm just letting it auto cast. And that's perfect. We've got two hours left and around 1,600 necklaces. So uh, we should finish perfectly on time. And in classic RuneScape wiki fashion, they've completely understated the amount that I can do per hour if I'm auto casting. We've done 800 and a bit already, and there's still three minutes left. All right, we are done with six minutes left on the clock here. I'm just going to go ahead and reset that to zero. And all of the necklaces are pretty much enchanted. It's the last inventory. Let's go ahead and trade them all over. All right, so we ended up with 29,019 dodgy necklaces. Chucking that into a price check here, 58.5 million which is not too bad at all. Run some quick numbers here. We spent 839 GP per Opal. We used 30,000 of those because we did crush a few. Comes out to 25,170,000 GP. The silver bars were 107 GP each. And we used 29,019 of those. That comes out to 3.105 million. And finally, the cosmic runes, 29,019 of those, 114 each. That's 3308116. That's going to come out to a grand total of 31,583,199 GP spent yo i've just bought a dodgy necklace for 2435 which is quite a bit above the guide price so i'm gonna go ahead and chuck these in 
I'm about to head to bed. We'll leave them in overnight and see if they sell for that high. Yeah, I haven't even gone to bed yet and 20 have already sold off. So they are most likely going to sell overnight. Just take a look at this graph on GE Tracker, man. It's like they're stuck at 2400 and then... They go down and then go up. These are probably being heavily bodded. And there we go. It is the next day. All of the dodgy necklaces have sold off. 69,964. Wow. So we go ahead and subtract that from the supply cost. And we end up with 38,381,610 GP profits, which is not too bad at all. That's going to come out to about 380K an hour per account, which is nothing to be scoffed at. Very low requirements for this. So if you're just starting your account and you just want to do it on one account, you can probably make more than 400k per hour, maybe even up to 500k per hour if you're really focusing. If you just make these from start to finish on one account. So you've got to be pretty happy with that one. But that is going to wrap it up for today's video, ladies and gentlemen, 38 million GP in profits. If you want to see me do more production line type videos, make sure you like this video. Leave me a comment down below. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Take it easy. Link in the description.